Hi, I'm Neeti Arora. I'm a UX designer for Google Account Security. Hi, so I'm Jonathan Skelka. I'm a product manager uh, covering many of the different aspects of keeping Google accounts secure. So Google products are built for everybody, and that includes people with no prior security experience whatsoever. So we need to build security into the products in two ways. Firstly, it has to be, well, readily accessible to any user. It has to be something which the user is going to understand and appreciate, and the product design can allow for that. So our product design has to take these factors into account straight up and make sure that the experience will be one the user can firstly tolerate so that we're not putting too much friction on them when they want to access their account and access their data. Because at the heart of it, security is basically an additional layer of friction where we'll intervene or we'll make it harder for you to access your account and your data until we're sure it's you. So when it comes to product design, what we can do is help security be more relatable for our users. Um, for instance, we all know that we have to lock the front door of our house or how should we be safe in our neighborhood. But when it comes to online stuff, we don't know necessarily as users if you know the steps I should be taking to keep my data secure. So that's where product design comes in. When it comes to um, security checkup, we wanted two more important things for it. One is reassurance. We wanted users to feel reassured if their account is indeed secure and they're doing all the things that they need to do. And also B, we wanted to give to them more actionable guidance, which is not just a laundry list of things that they need to do, but more personalized um, based on their account. What are some of the key things that they need to take care of so as to better protect their account? So we notify users on two different types of issues. There's just kind of making sure a user is aware of what's going on in their account and that they're in control of that and they've got the visibility into that and that we're surfacing those important moments. And that'll help reassure users that if someone else in a very unlikely situation, someone else was in their account, they'd know about it and they'd be able to take action. So we regularly notify users when they make changes to their authentication options or when they sign into a new, new device. I think everyone's familiar with the new device notifications. Then there's also the security notification when actually something's happened. When we have reason to suspect that there could be a breach of uh, a compromise of your account and we need you to take action. And that's obviously a very, very different type of notification. Uh, we've got to balance this information. We've got to make sure that when we you know, keep you up to date with account activity and reassure you that we really are being reassuring. That the language we use and the tone and the, the overall feel of the interaction is a reassuring thing. Okay, I'm in control. I understand what's going on here. Great. Versus when something does go wrong, we have to make sure you appreciate that this isn't, you know, business as usual. Something's happened, but we don't want to alarm you. We have to keep you grounded in the moment, make it very, very clear what you have to do next and handheld you through that next, you know, what that next action is. Um, just to share a story, once we actually had a user who misread our text um, and thought that his comp his account was actually compromised. Um, and they showed up at our Google office. Um, this is just one story to illustrate that something as simple as how we communicate in our email can have big impact on our users. Um, for example, the tone, the words we use, how much text we use. Um, if we use too much text, you know, we lose the attention. Uh, what's the most meaningful thing to say in an email? Um, what's the subject line? What other kind of colors are we using to communicate the severity of the notification, whether it's a suspicious one or is it just, hey, this is something about your account that you should know. So the notification design is all about the detail. One of the immediate things that we want to try to improve our notifications is to help the notifications that are coming from Google to stand out much more than all the emails that a user receives. Today, they are just bunched up amongst all the emails. So A, they get lost and B, um, there's also the risk of phishing. Today, a lot of malicious uh, attackers try to fish our good user and by distinguishing an email that actually comes from Google. We actually are doing experiments with badges in Gmail that will help users in distinctively know 
and also help us get their attention when some something needs to be paid attention to when it comes to security. So we're very reliant today on email as a channel and on native notifications on Android and it's and that's where things get lost. So I think you know security security notifications do deserve um, their own place, their own experience, which is different and which is reserved just for security notifications, given given the importance and again, given the increased value of our accounts. So I definitely expect to see a differential uh, surfacing or channel being made available for security notifications, which make them much, much harder to miss when we do actually need to send them.